Oh, hey. Almost forgot. <laughs> Am I going to war or a circus? What'd you expect? Black leather? What's good, everybody? I know it's been a minute since my last upload. <laughs> Damn. What can I say? I've been busy with, you know, finals, projects, work, and... Wait a minute. I gotta explain myself to you. I'm a grown ass man. But in full honesty, thank you to everyone who watched my last video and getting me to 100 subscribers. I'm genuinely grateful for all y'all for just listening to me talk about nerdy shit that I find interesting. While I've been gone, a whole bunch of shit's been popping off and it's insane, bro. Like, Drake and Kendrick have been beefing like crazy. Inside the NBA might be done forever. The Jimmy Butler era in Miami might be over. <laughs> But anyways, the reason I made this video was to say that X-Men are finally back and they are swinging on all aspects. I've been getting really into the X-Men in the last year or so and ever since this new year kicked off I've seen a resurgence of X-Men media and content I think that they are about to take over as the consensus favorite in the superhero genre. For good reason too. I'm going to go over all the reasons for the X-Men spike in popularity and how they're going to keep getting more and more popular as time goes on. Let me kick this off with saying that I have not read many comics in my life. Read, nigga! Read! Ah! I'm not a fraud or anything, but I just never had any money to buy any comics. So most of my comic knowledge came from YouTubers like Comic Story and Variant. And I just picked things up from the media that I've seen like on TV or in film. But most of my knowledge I have gotten were from YouTube and like breakdowns and stuff like that. But I did make a New Year's resolution when this year started. And that was to start reading comics with my own grown man bread. That's exactly what I did. Thankfully at the time, this new Ultimate Universe had just started, so I was able to jump right in there. And now I'm all cut up with Ultimate X-Men, even though it's only been like three issues. I'm fucking with it, like heavy. But overall, I am really enjoying this run so far. It's Japanese setting, it's different unique art and storytelling. Following these newly imagined versions of characters like Armor, Nico, Minoru, and a new character, Maystorm. Not much has been revealed so far in this run, but from what I've seen is that most people seem to enjoy it. But I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't want to spoil what little has happened so far. So if you are interested in this, go to your local comic book shop and buy yourself the issues. What you thinking, bro? Get the fuck off of me. Shh. Almost done. Almost done what? Getting my knife out of your buttocks, you pervert. <laughs> get your mind out of my pants. Alright now, let me get one of the big hitters. Deadpool and Wolverine comes out July 26th. This is going to bring many people into seats. This movie will be big for two reasons. First off, the state of the film industry and box office is shit right now. Plain and simple. Studios aren't getting much return on films and theaters right now because audiences aren't inclined to go see films and theaters right now. Mainly because these films are put on the digital and streaming less than a month after its release. Studios aren't giving these films time to breathe and their box office is taking a huge hit. But on the bright side, Deadpool and Wolverine can't fix this. It already has the record for most pre-sale tickets sold for a rated R film in film history, so this is looking to probably be the highest grossing movie of the year. But also, it is getting people back into theaters. It's going to be a must-watch spectacle that people are going to want to experience, just like No Way Home was. Like People are going to run to theaters just to see a lot of their old X-Men that they grew up with on the big screen in comic accurate suits, and that's going to lead right into my next point. This is the first X-Men movie that is going to be released in the Disney Fox era. To keep it a buck, the Fox X-Men movies at the end of its era just left a sour taste in people's mouths. The last few X-Men movies were just not great. Apocalypse, Dark Phoenix, and New Mutants had plenty of issues leading to all these movies to not be received well. Like at all. With Dark Phoenix being the worst, one of the worst superhero movies ever made. It was that bad. But now, Deadpool Wolverine is looking to kick off the MCU X-Men era strong with a love letter to both the Fox X-Men universe but to the X-Men in general. We see that from the return of fan favorite X-Men actors, predominantly Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, and they're even giving them the yellow suits. You actually go outside in these things? What would you prefer, yellow spandex? 
Yes, Cyclops. Yes. This is exactly what the people fucking wanted. Look how fucking beautiful this suit is. But this is a love letter to the fans, and this is exactly what the people needed to get back into the X-Men as a whole. Yo, someone's daddy didn't get him a pony for his sweet 16th. My parents perished when I was a child. This shit was hard. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. This show was one of the hardest things I've ever seen. Pause. No diddy. This show was so good I saw X-Men and Invincible fans beefing over which show was better. Like this show was incredible from head to toe. The storytelling in the show and how they were able to combine different iconic storylines from the comics so seamlessly to tell a different and unique narrative was incredible. The voice acting in the show was also top tier. The cast really brought their air game in every line and monologue they recorded for this show. And lastly, the animation. Oh my god, the animation. Oh yes, daddy. Each fight scene was so beautifully animated, silky smooth, and showed off the impressive skill sets of each character. Like before this show, I did not know Cyclops was like that. Like Scott, I'm sorry. I was not familiar with your game. Again. No, don't. I surrender. <laughs> not. These are all just things that are releasing or have been released this year in 2024. This does not include upcoming seasons of X-Men 97, the upcoming MCU X-Men film, and their inevitable inclusion in Secret Wars. All I know is that the X-Men are on an upward trajectory in terms of popularity and I think it's well deserved. The X-Men are such a big part of the Marvel Universe as a whole and there are plenty of mutants that have yet to be used on the big screen and there are plenty of stories that have yet to be told. Thanks again for watching this video. If you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe to the channel for future uploads. If you like what I said in this video, then tap into an episode of my podcast, Jay Tendencies, wherever you happen to find podcasts. I'm Jay Reese and I'll see you next time.